Hey, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And I want to entitle this one, There's Still Light Out There, you know, or something, something to that extent, you know, there's still light out there in um, Texas. And you can see amidst all that's going on, the Lord's men are still out there, all right? Standing so stiffly for the name of the Lord, all right, in a bitter cold, all right, with Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, you know, and um, I normally like I like watching these, you know, the brothers on Fridays or whatever, and um, hey, that's just the uh, confirmation that them brothers is okay, which they were going in, you know, they were talking about things that they've seen, you know, since they're down there, they see it firsthand. And they were speaking about how you had grown ass men crying because of how cold it was. Okay. Meanwhile, as the brother, um, I was watching the brother out there in um Dallas, you know, the elder Yatazaki, he was saying how he brought a beautiful point of how in the ancient world, um, a man was known by how many winters he could endure. Okay. But, you know, as I was thinking about this lesson, I was thinking about the light and out there, you know, what we all know about the world and blackouts and how when those lights came on, I was thinking about it, like how important, you know, whether it'd been for 10 minutes or one hour, how important that time was. All right. You wasn't fooling around. You wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get on the game for 10 minutes. Nah, man, you was probably, you know, trying to charge your phone. Trying to look for batteries, you know, trying to light a candle. Or during the daytime where it was a little bit more light out, you know, you were doing things. Um, You were doing the most important activities throughout the day. Okay. And um, that's how it's supposed to be. All right. Um, That you see the Akim out there, you know. He's supposed to be asking the most important questions. He's supposed to be the most um, intrigued. All right. Because the light won't always be with you. All right. With Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, the understanding his Holy Spirit that he left upon the world through his apostles, through his disciples, are, are the light. Okay. As a matter of fact, when you go to the book of... um. One of my favorite precepts, Yahweh Shai, you know, he confirmed it to his disciples from the very beginning. He said, um, Matthews 5 and 13, it says, 5 and 14, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. You know? Now, if you were in a dark place, all right, if you were in a dark place, what would be the best place to go to, to see, right? What would be right, it would be right under that candle to, um, you know, to read and stuff like that, you know? So this place being dark, which spiritually this place is dark and physically, you know, out there and over there in, um, in uh, Texas is dark, you know? So it would be the best place to hide yourself. All right. It would be the best place to get understanding on what's going on. All right. Mental fortitude will be what? Under that light, under the disciples that the Lord sent out there, which he so which he told us. All right. In the scriptures, he said what? He sent them out by twos to, uh, you know, go into the highways and hedges. I believe that's Matthew's to 10th chapter. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and they give it light to all that are in the house. So this is an opportune time for you to go out there and listen. Why? Because as things are happening, we're telling you, all right? So it's not like, you know, it's not like we're lying, all right? So we'll behoove you to see what comes next, you know? Hey, best believe you have certain, like, um, I was watching this this video that came up on, on my, um, I, I don't know if it was a trending because I definitely wasn't subscribed to this channel. So I'm guessing 
this lady got a lot of views, but she was talking about how, how you make your own candles, you know? And of course, that's that's even the people on the common board were saying that this that's the most um you know most important news or the most important videos, especially especially in these times, you know. And I'm over here in Jersey, but hey, who's to say this shit can happen over here? You know, hey, we all know Esau through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, is playing is is playing his hand. So it says, read on, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your, your father, which is in heaven. All right. Which ultimately the elect is going to receive it. All right. Because they're the ones that have eyes, according to Matthew 13. Okay. But all men, you know, they're going to have an opportunity to receive that light. The scriptures say it rains upon the just as well as the unjust. Okay. This is the book of um Yep. John eight and twelve. Just gonna read through different precepts here. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I froze the picture, but anyway, it says, um, John eight and twelve, then speak Yahweh Shai. Right, as long as it's still recording, that's all that matters. Then speak Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light, have the light of life. You know? So, brothers, you know, with meditating upon the precepts in those times, you know, those two or three days they were without power, you know, and they wasn't really bugging out because they know it's going to get rough. It's, it's going to get way worse than this, man. You know, that's the thing. It's going to get way worse than this. Okay? That's just a tidbit, you know? Imagine being without food, all right, without water, cold as hell, all right? Um, Gurga troops, you know, walking through your neighborhoods, all right, wild beasts, all right, it's going to get way worse than that for you two thirds because you chose not to, you chose not to receive the light, all right, so now you, 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 you're you going to receive the death of the wicked, you know, those that dwell in darkness, okay. I, as a matter of fact, you know what was that? Um, I think that's in Psalms. Yeah, thirty-four and twenty-one. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Okay, all these people best believe, you know, bros been out there for years, man, throughout Houston, Texas, San Antonio. Different portions of Texas telling you what time it is, telling you to get right, but you scoffed and scorned at the Lord. You know? Proverbs 1 and 24, 1 and 23. Uh, Slack it. Let's start at uh, 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Now, wisdom is wisdom is the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, as I mentioned, passed down the spirit to his men. The book of Jeremiah 3 and 15 tells you that. Okay? So it says, she cried for the chief place of concourse. You can't miss her. All right. You can't miss that light. You know, you're going to put the light in what? The middle of the room. All right. You know, to where everybody can see it. All right. To where it's beneficial to everybody. And the openings of the gates and, and actually going into the chief place of concourse, when you go into um, lighting, 
All right, like spotlights and stuff like that. Um, normally, well, the higher you put the light, the more area it covers. All right. So if the Most High put us on a hill, or He put a He put us in a chief place of concourse. We, you know, we cover more, right? And the openings of the gates, all right. Meaning what? You will have to pass us to get to where you got to go. There's no excuse. And the city, she uttered her words, saying, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge." Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth. But ye have said at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When the stress and anguish cometh upon you. Okay. There was a lady. Which I believe the brother out there in uh, Vegas. That was the brother. He had that a lesson on how. It was one of the brothers. I can't remember. But basically. You had one lady. She just moved to Texas. Maybe about three months back or whatever. Alright. Then. I want to say two weeks ago. Her mom died. From like cancer or something. You know. And then a pipe bust in which, you know, broke, you know, broke down the ceiling, and destroyed her house, all her belongings. All right. And that really, that was the beginning of her sorrows, man, because the Lord didn't take her out, you know. But it says, uh, then shall they call upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. And they're going to try to. They're going to be looking for the prophets. But the Lord said, well, he's going to make our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth. That we will not be reproved to them. Okay. The Most High, hey, he's going to tell us, as it said in Isaiah 26 and 20. All right. Come up, come up into my chambers. All right. Basically meaning what? Get behind me. All right. Which coming, coming up into the Lord's chambers, you know, is coming into, you know, the Lord put us in his chariots. You know, why he allowed the missiles to rain down upon the wicked. It says, um, that's what that means. Uh, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat. Of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. You know? And hey, as Christians say, uh another one of my favorite ones. Um no no no. Uh Yeah, okay. It says, uh, Wherefore is there price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he have no heart to it? You know, meaning there's a hefty price. You know? Meaning there's going to have to be, well, Isaiah 69. You know, this could say, How long, O Lord, until the cities be destroyed without inhabitant? You know? So there's a hefty price to pay for stupidity. There was another one. I think it was in John 12. No. Just forgot. Oh, damn, forgot that preset that first. 
you see, okay, Luke. The Lord brought it back to me. But why do y'all about me? I was shy. Luke one is seventy. Seventy six. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Okay. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us. All right, let me read that again, man. Read it nice and slow. And thou child, who is this child? Okay, this is the Messiah, Yahweh Shah, shall be called the prophet of the highest. But thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge All right, read it again. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, but thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Matthew 121. Through the tender mercy of our God, right? Let's see. No, I'm just keep reading. Stay in there. Just keep going. So lock it. It says, uh, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us. All right. Yahweh is called the day star to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. To guide our feet into the way of peace. You see? So our people is, you know, bugging out. Meanwhile, the way of peace is already is, is, is right there in front of you. In a cheap place of concourse, you can't miss it. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit is and was in the deserts to the day of his shoeing unto Israel. Alright, so with that, Shalom to the elect.